talk about not the weather so much, but some of the holiday things here with Vicki O'Hara, our guest this morning from uh, Denison Council and the um, the chairperson of uh, economic development. So that's that sounds pretty heady. That's that's good stuff. So <laughs> welcome in. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Brad, for having me. I um, we're talking to the mayor, of course, last week, and uh, he appointed you. So I hoped that, that you would go ahead and come on in and <laughs> be all right with that. Well, like I said, I think it's an initiation. So <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very good. But the reason we wanted to talk today, and it works out really well, because uh, next Monday, Robert and I are getting ready to be out and uh, play some music before uh, the big parade event. And next weekend is really, uh, for Denison and the Twin Cities, it's time to get festive, right? Absolutely. And we're so excited about this upcoming event, too. It's the first time ever. And um, so, so which one? We're talking about the first time ever as Sunday, correct? Sunday evening, November 28th. We are lighting up Denison and doing a Christmas cruise. And uh, what this entails is we've gone around to all the local businesses and asked them, sort of told them our idea, what mm-hmm. we wanted to do. And this is to sort of showcase and spotlight them. Since this is about the economic development in the area, yeah. we wanted to definitely get the area residents to remember our businesses at Christmas time, Shop not just here. all year. That's yeah. right. Keep it local. So, um, yes. Yeah, so we went around to the area businesses and uh, told them our idea. We wanted to light up Denison, make it festive, welcoming, and uh, they were all on board, pretty much 100% of them. So we're really excited about this. So this is a cruise, and this is kind of uh, maybe one of those do-it-yourself things? Yes. Actually, um, the main focus we would like to have is our cruise through, So because it's an eight block, approximately eight blocks of decorations okay. and displays that the uh, community will get to see. And uh, but we're also inviting people to stroll the sidewalks because as you're strolling, you might find Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, some Polar Express elves. Uh-huh. We are blessed to have the Park Christian um, Choir yes. um, that's going to be there singing um, Christmas carols for an hour there from 6 to 7. So our actual event that we're, um, is from 6 to 7, but we also will have the roaming train. We have this little roaming train that's going to be across from First National Bank. And they'll be offering complimentary train rides through town so people can actually view the displays from the train then. uh, It's a 16 passenger uh, train. So, especially for um, maybe somebody who can't get around quite as well. Exactly. But if people want to cruise through the, you know, through town, they can do that by their vehicles as well. So, is there any uh, structured way to do that or a map available of who's doing what? Well, we don't actually have a map. We are going to have probably some of our local police and, you know, fire department and street department workers and volunteers sort of organizing. We want to try and have uh, no parking there on Grant Street because it's going to go from the 100 block to the 400 block Mm -hmm. and then around Center Street down by the depot and then back up. So hopefully as people come into town, which they'll be coming off 2nd Street, then you'll just turn left onto Grant and start your tour that way. That's easy enough. Yeah, yeah. That's probably what you would do accidentally. Yeah. So hopefully, <laughs> like I said, we'll just have no parking on that uh, on the streets there for that particular time. I would assume you, as a business owner, uh, are yes. kind of excited about the the whole thing from that aspect. I am. I am. My business is in Eureksville, but in this, uh, you know, in this case, um, yeah, this is Denison, and uh, you know, anything. Uh, traffic we can bring into the Twin City area is a benefit to all of us. And now speaking of the Twin Cities, then the next night is uh, Monday, the 29th. 29th. That's a whole week away. <laughs> yes. So that's the uh, traditional parade, correct? Yes, that's our community parade. And so how's that working? How that will work is um, it's lineup is at, uh, I think, five that, that night for all the people that are going to, or all the businesses or anyone that's going to be a part of the parade. It will start in Eureksville and then march on over to Denison and end over there. And then, uh, as you mentioned, you, your radio station, WBTC, will be there playing Christmas songs in Denison as our, as our community waits for the parade to come into Denison. So. Yeah, we're going to try to play some holiday favorites, and uh, I mean, that should be a good time. So the lineup's over by the... Uh, the high old school, high school, the, the old middle school, school. Mm-hmm. and it comes over and it ends near the depot, correct? 
I believe so, right there close to the, you know, Grand the, um, Street, the city building, somewhere right around in that area. Yes, yes. So we would invite everybody to be at that as well. Yes. Now, there will be some, some people open for that, too? Yes, there will be a few uh, of the businesses that will be open that evening. The Flower Garden is going to be open, open from 5 to 6, and they'll be offering 10% off their whole store for that particular time. Um, we have the Enchanted business that's sort of like a game playing and um, a business that's over there, and they'll be offering $5 off of 50 Furniture Warehouse will be open. They'll be offering $5 or 5% off of their total purchase Ooh. and then also receiving a coupon for 5% off their total purchase for the month of December. Um, I know the, tea, the Graphic tea shop, T-Shirt Shop is going to be offering a promotion as well, and then we'll have... Uh, I think Pangrazio's is just going to be handing out treats during that time. Ah, so, yeah, so we good. got a few of them that are open. We'll get Jim to sling some things out. Over there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and there is a special guest right at the end of the parade, I think. I believe Santa. Ah. You're going, oh, yeah. We always are looking forward to Santa, you know, bring that childlike feeling right out. So, nothing special that anybody has to do to make a reservation or go online or anything. No, correct? this is all free. It's just something that, um, like I said, we wanted to promote the local businesses, but this is a way of giving back to the community and just, uh, you know, giving some joy and uh, just lighting it up. And I hope it just looks like a little Hallmark Village. I know. That would be great. So, again, uh, Sunday is the cruise. What time is that? That actually starts. The, the businesses were asking to light up their businesses and organizations by 5 o'clock that evening. It's pretty much dark by then anyway. <laughs> yes. And at this point, we've told them to not light up before then. So I don't know whether to contact AEP prior to to let them know about the surge. <laughs> yeah. But um, hopefully everything will just uh, work out there. So, yeah, so we have about 31 businesses that are participating. And uh, and then we also have um, down on the 400 block, we have a, a few of homes, residential homes that are down there. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we are so thankful to Shirley uh, Trollio Shinneberry, who has donated about $10,000 worth of uh, yard displays and yes and lights and they have decorated that area and it's going to be spectacular so not only will the um, visitors in the community get to see the businesses but they'll also be able to enjoy that and this will just uh, enhance our area for the 13,000 visitors coming in to ride on the Polar Express. Right and uh, the area families say uh, we always like to go somewhere sometime to see some lights yes. boy this is it. Yes and, of course, we're encouraging our residents in Denison to just join in and, and continue to light up Denison. So. Yeah, that would be great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Vicki, thanks a lot. I uh, appreciate the information. I'm Thank sure we'll you. see you there. Oh, yeah. I'll be there with lights on. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wave. Out. We'll do the parade wave with you. That would be great. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having uh, the time to come in and uh, share with us today. That's Vicki O'Hara from Denison. She's on the council, but she's also letting us know what's going on festively over the holidays here next weekend on our V-Team morning shows, 830 High Beam.